Hi, I'm Mona. In this video, I will show you how to handle the three different types of electrodes that you can use to perform aqueous surfactant titrations. The three different types are the ionic surfactant electrode, the cationic surfactant electrode and the non-ionic surfactant electrode. The ionic surfactant electrode can be used for both anionic and cationic surfactants. If you only need to titrate cationic surfactants, we recommend the cationic surfactant electrode. And for non-ionic surfactants based on polyoxyethylene adducts, use the non-ionic surfactant electrode. All three electrodes are coated with a polymer membrane. Be aware that solvents such as toluene, chloroform or acetone can destroy this membrane and thus the electrode. The sensor will tolerate long-term use of methanol or ethanol if their concentration is not higher than 5%. Besides the surfactant electrode, you also need a reference electrode. We recommend the LLISE reference electrode. Now let's talk about conditioning of the electrodes. All three surfactant electrodes need to be conditioned before you can titrate the sample. To condition the electrodes, we recommend you carry out two to three titrations before your actual sample titration. Next, let's look at how surfactant electrodes are cleaned and maintained. The cleaning of all three electrodes is simple. Just rinse them with distilled water. Should there be precipitates on your electrode, wipe them off with a soft tissue moistened with methanol. Depending on your sample matrix, wiping the electrode might be necessary after every titration to obtain reproducible results. Finally, don't forget to store the electrodes dry after a titration series. To learn more about how aqueous effect in titrations are done, check out the linked video. Thanks for watching.